and once again will be traded. It's now a little bit tricky as Trinity is in a bit of a do or die situation. All he's got to do is try and waste out the next second. The diffuser cold oh. on the ground, but no, the final kill comes in and Heiko's find it. His teammates are just dropping like flies out there on the roam. And I reckon within 20 seconds, this wall's going to be open. Mini needs to make a huge rotation now to try and alleviate some of that pressure on Trinity. It's all about the timing as well. And there, Trinity was taken down. That's almost the smoke that was playing on sites. So it's only Nikus and Mini left. No, scratch that triple kill for Rios as they take down Nikus. It's going to have to be a ace clutch, but it won't be. It won't be a flawless round instead. And Rios just keeps rolling these last couple of rounds i mean he was netting some kills previous like at the start of the game as well but right now he's really hitting a stride didn't really make a name for himself and these attackers but they can't win out on their gunfights trinity he finds another and this is shaping up to potentially be a flawless round although flex is going to have something to say about it instantly traded out however his head suit he's going for the repel on in he finds two draws for the pistol there's a team kill in between as well it was seat of your pants stuff there <laughs> as the repel came on in but the alder once again reigns supreme shop we're locked into a 1v1 on match point for high coast pat he's gonna make the swing on the corner loads of time to play with at this moment in time but flexi's better the classic ash versus jaeger and high coast secure the final kill and secure our first match of the evening he and he's aware of it he, he hasn't accepted well, it but he will just have to respect it and um, as you're saying, or as you said and noted, Rotko is back onto the window duty here, and we're going to try and spread out the attack a little bit more, a little bit more of utility clearance here, and a lot more of a, let's say, a oh, <laughs> swing from Mango straight onto the head of Yabel. It did get rid of that shield, but still, that's a huge loss, losing such a strong gun in the Ash. I'm not sure if he's aware that someone will be coming up the Astro Stair, so this could be devastating for me. We have the smokes coming down. Might be getting ready for the execute. Oh, the shot's coming through there, but the brief play C4, I assume, from Ivan will take VML out. We're here by Exxon, and we saw a little bit of a gunfight here, and that's another C4 coming out. That was Yuki C4, so that means none of the C4s have hit after the first one, of course. Assassin will swing, but Meepy will punish him, and the time he knows the Hans is still better. Meepy will land that as well. That is important. And Mango left alive, but Mango will get himself a kill. And there's a 1v2 here from Meepy on the Frost. He's done well on the previous round, but oh, the timing on that one, just as he swaps over to Astro, that's when Mango peaks. That's when he gets the kill, and that's when he puts Riddle on match point on Villa. And you can see the teams that do have a lot of fun are the teams that are, you know, going out there and consistently been able to chain not only rounds together, but chain victories together. Royal, <laughs> he's going to get debated. He had the drone working on ahead of him, but Vigil is oh, wow. uh, always a tricky one to hit out on the drone. And Yeah, and they still have presence inside of toilets here. Ambush, that's Kylis. And the C4 from below, that was a bait. <laughs> Kylis threw his out. Running roughshod over the remaining defenders upstairs. Now, very tricky situation. Swing and a hit on the headshot. Royal is going to be taken down, but it's going to be, it's going to be very easy to hold as a post plant from multiple locations. That's some good intel right there. But Raiden is currently the one doing all the uh, droning. Uh, not all of it, but to try and get the entry. Someone playing all the way down here in basement. Can't tell who it is by the outline just yet, but we can tell by the kill feed because that shot from Drader onto Rody. Ouch. It's all about awareness, about all about experience to. Make it work in your favor when you have someone playing a side of yellow just like that. And that's the thing, when you when you have a team that's set around playing, oh, and the swing was in, it's gonna land as well. Drader, but instantly traded by Defele. And Aiden on the castle here, and it does look like it will go the way of Scott. And as I say, that Royal will just continue that. It will get himself a double kill, a little bit of a lack of communication there. As the Zofia didn't know, or sorry, Rody didn't seem to know, you have to be worried about it. Chris is not worried about anything that was just taking Diary off the server. Kilius will get the plant down as well. Royal will. Find Rotate the smoke up. He will get the kill as soon as killers try to jump out of his garage as well. Red ping information confirms the double and looks thirsty for the triple. Challenging now onto double window as he dips and dives in between the bunks. He's actually going to get taken out from behind, but that kill will be traded by Red Groove Jinx with a fantastic heads up play there. Hopping himself on in and taking advantage of quite befuddled Red Groove. Gonna get some pre-fires, Robert taking some damage as well. The smoke cams just gonna start to come raining out, and he still has two. 
to go. We can still stall a lot of time here. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it. Kalshti just runs in, slays down Hippo, and the kills are coming left and right. They're going to turn around. Time's ticking out. Ten seconds now. Only three seconds to get the kill. We have to push with the shotgun. He tries to swing it, and there you have it. Folks, even if he gets the kill, we don't have a time to defuse the or counter-defuse the defuser, and Chaos will put themselves onto match point. 